Now let's look at these two circles. What are the common tangents to them? We have this one, this one, also this one, and this one. If we move the circles closer to each other and they touch one another, then we have this tangent and this and this. Three common tangents altogether. If the circles overlap each other, then we have two common tangents only. And in this case, we have one common tangent only for the two circles. Now let's look at this question. Lines AE and PS are common tangents to the circles. Find X and Y. Let's find X first. Angle at B here is 90 degrees. So is angle at D here, also 90 degrees. A tangent makes a 90 degrees angle with the radius at the point of tangency. Now this angle at C, angle BCO and WCD are vertically opposite angles. They are equal. Now let's look at these two triangles. We can see that angle 40 degrees and X are equal. So X must be 40 degrees. Next, we want to find Y. We can actually draw a line here. Then we get this triangle. This is the opposite of angle Y. It is 10.5 cm. And this is the adjacent of angle Y. It is 5.5 minus 3. Equal 2.5 cm. We have opposite and adjacent. Opposite over adjacent is tangent. So tangent y is 10 over 5 over 2.5 or in decimal 4.2. So y is inverse of tangent 4.2. And we get y is 76.6 degrees, rounding off to three significant figures.